Are you looking for an easy way to keep your RV clean and you can't use water at the campground or RV park you're staying at and don't want to hire one of those expensive professional companies to come in and wash it? In this video, I'll show you how to use a waterless wash and wax system, explain how to use it, and why it's a must have for RVers. We just traveled over 3,000 miles with our RV from Michigan to California, and this thing is filthy. The Aero Cosmetics wash and wax system is great for us to get all that road grain off the RV after a long road trip, or to keep it maintained when we're parked here for a long period of time. When you order the kit, this bag comes full of all of this stuff. The first thing here is a bottle degreaser cleaner, which is great for black streaks also. This bottle comes empty, but we fill it up with the wash wax one gallon jug. This is the bug scrubber mop head. So one side is a scrubber, the other side is for a cleaner with an extra cleaner pad. A hand bug scrubber, a four pack of hand towels. This is a big mop head. It's two sided, one wet side, one dry side. A four pack of extra mop heads and one deluxe pole. As I mentioned, my kit comes with a bug scrubber that screws onto the pole. If you don't need this piece, make sure you order the kit that does not come with this bug scrubber. For using the system on the RV, it's pretty simple. On the mop head, it has a dry side, and the other side has a wet side. So we're gonna pre-wet the wet side before we use it on the RV, so this mop head has a little bit of dampness to it, help with the dirt and dust off. Usually it takes around 10 sprays to get this wet. You spray it a few times, you can feel it, still feels pretty dry. Make sure you get the whole thing covered. Now that, that is wet, we're gonna spray a small section on the RV, usually like three foot by three foot sections, maybe a little bit bigger, but not too much bigger, especially on warmer days. Once we spray it down, we'll use a wet side, go over the whole thing. After that is done, we'll turn it over, use a dry side. You can see already how dirty the RV is. It's already picking up some dirt on the mop head. I tricked is saving some mop heads, not having to use quite as many. When this wet side gets dirty, we'll take this off, put a new side on, and then I'll use what was the dry side as my new wet side, because this already has a little bit of moisture into it from using it on the RV. So we can make sure it's wet enough. And then we'll use this as our wet side and we'll have a new dry side to keep everything clean. We'll do the whole RV the same way with this big mop head. Areas it doesn't fit into, we'll use two hand towels. I'll take one hand towel, wet it down just like I had my wet side. And then I'll use the other hand towel to dry it off after I clean the dirt off. After we finish with the sides of the RV, we use our tire cleaner and degreaser. I'll spray the tires down, use a towel that'll get really dirty quick. And then we'll spray it again and use a clean towel to finish off the tires. If you clean the bugs off the front cap right after a trip, it makes them much easier to clean off before they're baked on in the sun. To clean the mop pads, just toss them in a washing machine, but don't use fabric softener. And now for your frequently asked questions. Does it wash your RV as good as when you use soap and water? I'd say it cleans around 90% compared to using regular soap, water, and a power washer. You can't get in those nooks and crannies as good as soap and water and a brush does. If your RV is really filthy and dirt up one side and down the other, that needs a real wash job of soap and water and not using a waterless wash and wax system, which is really for upkeep and a little bit of road grime. How long does a one gallon bottle of a wash and wax solution last for washing a 41 foot RV? I'd say four to six times, depending on how dirty the RV is. Do you have to rinse the RV with water first? No, but if you have water available, it helps remove some of the loose dirt first, especially if it's really dirty. How does this system not scratch your RV? The wet mop and cleaner removes the dirt, but again, it's not as good as regular soap and water. How does a mop head screw onto the pole? Just like any normal broom or mop head attachment, there's threads on the inside of here and threads at the end of the pole. You screw it on until it's tight and you're ready to clean. Also, when I ordered my kit, it came with this yellow fiberglass pole. When you order your kit, it comes with a deluxe pole. It compacts even shorter and makes it great for travel. Do you need a ladder to wash the RV? No? This pole extends out, you can reach up all the way to the top of the RV, and then some. How much does a kit weigh? If you're still seeing it on Amazon, this thing weighs well over 200 pounds. That is definitely a typo. I don't have a scale to weigh it, but with a full gallon jug with all the parts and pieces, I'd say the 20 to 30 pounds range. This pole is definitely not heavy at all. This one's fiberglass. There's nothing in this kit is heavy duty wood or super heavy metal at all. You'll find links to the products I mentioned in the description down below. Since I've been using this kit for the last two years and loving the results, I reached out to the company and got a referral code for you to save money when you buy your kit directly from Aero Cosmetics. That referral code and our link to our Amazon storefront with all the products we use in our RV are in the description down below as well. Keep your RV sparkling and enjoy your next camping trip.